Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on being honest about my handbag collection. This video was inspired by Haley from Haley's Room and she was showing a video recently on the handbags that she was thinking of letting go of. And it really made me think about like, okay, I gotta be honest with myself. Are there any bags in your collection that you absolutely love and in the back of your mind you're like, but I don't use them so I need to let them go? but you don't want to confront that feeling yet. That's kind of where I am at right now. <laughs> so let me know which bags you have not yet confronted that you are procrastinating on that you should really get rid of because it's just cluttering up your space or your mind or it's just money sitting on your shelves. So share with me what those are. I'm gonna share with you the three bags that I feel like I need to confront that I have been avoiding. Hi, I'm just gonna let you know that I'm going to be adding some inserted footage of some updates of what happens to some of these bags after I already filmed the video. So. You know, if you know anything about me, you know I like to keep my collection curated. You know that I like to keep it tight. It's gotta be only bags that I absolutely love. All the things, okay? All the good feelings. And I really have to make some cuts. And, and if you know anything about my channel, then you also know that I hate the process of selling handbags. And that is also why I'm so very considered before I buy a handbag, I do all the research, but I still make mistakes and have regrets. So let's just cut to the chase. So I'm gonna start off by saying that this bag should not be a surprise if you've seen my review on this bag. So I will link it here if you haven't seen that. I definitely have some grievances about this bag. Although I will say this bag is so functional. I really love the aesthetics of it. I love how clean classic and how old school it looks like it's very retro it's very vintage looking and it's something that I absolutely love the size I can't even tell you how perfect the size is from my lifestyle it is actually very very perfect spot on but the zipper kills me I'm sorry I hate the zipper so much if this zipper didn't suck as much as it does I would 100% keep this bag I just can't use this bag with the zipper Zipper, being as stiff it is, being, I just can't handle this bag with the zipper being as stiff as it is. With this zipper being as stiff as it is, okay? <laughs> it's just so fussy because you have to like, it totally separates, but like, then when you wanna zip it back up, you've gotta, you know, work it back in, it's close and if the zipper wasn't so stiff, then it would be a lot easier, but it's not that easy. So that's bag number one. The update on the Gucci Ophidia bag. I thought long and hard about it, and I did look at my entire collection of handbags, and I feel really comfortable letting this one go. As sad as that makes me, I feel like I do love it, but compared to the rest of my handbag collection, I don't love it enough. That zipper makes me too crazy to love it too much. I did give it to a local consignment store around here. If it doesn't sell, it's not a problem. Problem. I'm not gonna feel bad about it. If it sells, then great, and I can put that money towards another handbag that I'm going to love even more. And so I feel like that was the right choice that I made and the right thing to do. So that's the update there. The next bag that I am thinking of selling, and it pains me so much, is my beautiful Givenchy. I believe this is the 4G bag, size small, and it is so gorgeous. It is such a beautiful, smooth leather bag. It's got this gorgeous hardware, gold hardware, which has the Givenchy logo on it, but it's not in your face, but it's still statement and so beautiful. It's your classic type of flap bag. It's got plenty of room on the inside, if you can see, and it's got an adjustable strap. And so there's nothing to not like about this bag. This is truly a beautiful, beautiful bag bag. However, I have not worn this in a really long time. And the few times that I did try it on, I looked in the mirror and I'm like, it just looks too boxy. And it's just a little too stiff and boxy for me. And I don't really love it. And I have to love my bags. It is black and I wouldn't take it in any other color except black because I feel like this bag only really looks good in black in my opinion. But I also don't get that excited with 
black bags. And I already have a black bag, which is my Chanel Classic Flap. And if you're comparing this bag against my Chanel Classic Flap, my Chanel Classic Flap will win every time. So it's really no competition. As much as I love it aesthetically, I don't like the way it really lays on my body. And again, because it's black and it doesn't really excite me, I feel like I need to get rid of it. Hey guys, quick update alert. Just wanted to let you know what happened to the Givenchy bag. I actually did not end up selling it. Instead, I gifted it to my interior designer. So she was over recently so she can take pictures of the house for her portfolio. And she helped build this house with us. And she was such an important part of the process. And I really love her. She works really hard for us. And when she was over, she was admiring some of my handbags. And I knew she had a real appreciation for handbags and beautiful things. And I knew that she would really enjoy the Givenchy bag. So I kind of nonchalantly asked her if this is something that she liked. And she said she loved it. And I was like, oh, then it's yours. So I gave it to her and that gives me a lot more joy in seeing her enjoy it under the condition that if she takes it, then she has to promise me that she's going to wear it and enjoy it and love it. And she did promise me that. So that brings me a lot more joy in giving the bag to someone who I know is gonna really love it and appreciate it and enjoy it than whatever money I would have gotten from selling it. So that's what happened to that bag. I'm really happy about it and I have no regrets. Okay, so the next bag I think I'm going to sell is this black Prada messenger bag. This is a nylon messenger bag that I've had since the early 2000s. This was my very first luxury handbag ever. I feel like I bought this either in 2003 or maybe 2004. I can't remember exactly, but my friend bought it and I was like, oh my God, I love this bag so much. I have to get it. So I got it too. And I have used this so much throughout my 20s. This is a bag that I have used from work to travel and everything in between. And it is in such great condition because it's nylon, but also I've never buckled the leather pieces. So it's all very smooth leather. It's not wrinkled and gross and old looking. So the leather pieces are in really good condition and it's black, it's very usable and just very durable and very functional. But I don't use messenger bags anymore. I could use it when I travel, I suppose, but it's not really a bag I feel like I need necessarily. So I do go back and forth with this. And sometimes I think to myself, like maybe my daughter would use it. I have asked her, but she said no. She's just not in a place where she's interested in any of these types of things, which is totally fine. So if she doesn't use it, but she later changes her mind and I've already sold it, it's not a big deal. It's just a nylon bag, it's not that deep. What I'm saying is that I've held on to this long enough. Like this has been a 20 year bag. I know it's come back in style with nylon and Prada and all that stuff. It's kind of amazing how the price has increased over the years. Now granted, I know it's been 20 years, but I, I want to keep my collection tight. And that's what it really comes down to is I want to keep my collection tight and I don't want to have things that don't serve me anymore and that don't really do anything for me anymore. and just taking up space. I don't like having things just to have things around. So that's just a personal thing for me that I really don't like having just a lot of stuff around me. And when they take up physical space, they take up mental space, right? So that's ultimately what I'm trying to do. Another update, I did ask my daughter, she wanted the Prada messenger bag. I've asked her before, she's always said no, which is why I didn't ask her again. But now that she's a little bit older, I asked her if she wanted it and she was like, sure. So I think she's gonna get a lot of use out of it towards the end of high school years and into college. I think it's a really useful bag for not only traveling, but school and casual and whatever. I was really surprised she said yes this time around but I'm really excited because that was my first designer bag ever and that's going to be her first designer bag and there's so much more life in it. I'm really excited that she can finally take the bag and that she's finally agreed after all these years. Tell me which handbags you are thinking of selling and tell me if you're going through any kind of decluttering process. I always love a decluttering process. I love decluttering things and then just being a lot more mindful about what I bring in to the house rather than just replacing things. So that's not what I'm trying to do necessarily. I'm not trying to clear out three bags so I can bring in three bags. Now that may happen over time but that's not what I'm doing it for. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you hit the thumbs up button. That really helps my small channel out. If you wanna binge watch any of my other videos, you can do that here and I will see you next time.